Hi Internet. Hi Reddit. My name is Andrew. I've um, been using versions and distros of Linux for about two or three years perhaps. Um, I'm just giving you my impressions of the new version of the new version of elementary OS um, Freya. This is the 64-bit um, version. It's 0 0.03. It's built on Ubuntu 14.04. I'm doing this screencast in um, simple screen recorder because I think it's fast and it works well and um, it's very well supported on distros if they're based on Debian or on Ubuntu. So this is a website um, sorry, this is a website for 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 the elementary OS here, and uh, they have a Reddit page too, and uh, there's a common sort of bug in uh, in the in the elementary OS Freya, which is which is actually I'll just I'll log in. No, I can't be bothered. Which is the um, the cursor uh, gets corrupted if you try to move a uh, a file or a or a folder from one place to somewhere else. And um, a very helpful, a very helpful person person on the uh, on. Sorry, on the Reddit page, help me fix this. Of course, I can't find it now because you know I'm doing I'm doing a screen recording and obviously it's not being being very useful. So it's not great. Okay, I'm going to log in super quickly. Hopefully I've typed in the password right. That'd be great. Yes, I have. Good. So it's this one here. Uh, this one here. Here we go. <coughs> so yeah, I saw that I had this same same issue here, and this um this user here, whose name is Dramonica. I think eighty six. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Um. Pretty much, they first um, told you to go put this into um, Scratch, which is a text editor slash programming um, sub program. And you save it in this folder here, and this is a file name. And uh, so that's right here. Uh, <coughs> I copy and paste that straight into Scratch and then save it. In that location, of course, because uh, you, because you save it in like a, the systems folder, pretty much, um, in the user share, sort of, sort of folders. Um, you will have to have root privilege, and this is a this is a command here that will give you, that will give you the root privilege if you type it into terminal. So it's sudo space space pantheon dash files because <coughs> that is the name of the file manager here it's pantheon files so that will get then go and open up the files that will then go and open up pantheon files as as root or you know as as the as the administrator pretty much it will go and sort of, sort of Pretty much, it will go elevate your privileges, so you can save, move, delete, etc. In uh, those sort of files, um, so I'm not saving that. So yeah, this is and and, and because I have an Intel um, sort of integrated GPU, which is a uh, which is the which is the Intel sort of HD three thousand graphics. 
it's uh I, I typed in his first half here and that made me not be able to change screen brightness because of the bat liking it because of the bat backlighting not working. So thankfully this helpful user told me to go put this into that file and that will sort of activate the backlight again and uh, so now so now if I move a file or folder from here to there the cursor won't be corrupted. Um, as well as that I found something very very useful too um, in this um, system settings here I found a, a PPA for the tweaks and this allows you to have a dark theme as well as in files have single click to go no sorry to turn on and turn off the single click in the uh, files program and you know because I don't really like a single click because I find it quite annoying and limiting because sometimes I don't want to open a file I just want to highlight it perhaps change the name of it you know and uh, that's what that does it's great as well as doing that it allows you to change the size of the icons on Plank here which is a doc program um, it allows you to theme it if you have themes installed you can do that um, you can change you know this sort of uh, sort of behavior of Plank and uh, in the appearance you can change the theme the GTK theme the icon and the cursor as well as the controls of the windows which are close minimize and maximize um, which is very very useful and just so yeah it's quite uh, self-explanatory and um, I got this PPA, I'll just show you now. <coughs> oh, by the way, this is, a, this is the sort of default sort of browser for, um, for the elementary OS, which is called Midori. It's quite fast and quite useful. Um, I tend to use Chrome more probably is Chromium because I have everything you know on that pretty much um, although Firefox obviously is good too now in this one here I'll just zoom in for a second when you go and um, highlight that copy and paste that into your terminal program just right there that's what you want to do um, sometimes I find that there's a graphical glitch or something in a terminal program where the so blinking cursor starts on the far left of the first line as you saw um, it's quite strange anyway um, if you if you use the arrow keys and press and press the right arrow it fixes it fixes itself up so copy and paste each of these things this is this is if the PPA this goes goes and updates your sort of list of PPAs and this then goes and installs a tweak so sort of menu which um, is this one here which I find very very useful um, I, I advise against changing too much because uh, you know why change things if you don't have to and it might cause conflicts in the uh, sort of conflict in the configuration files for various things in uh, in the so the elementary OS, um, I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure the person who made this, so tweaks, so panel, is uh, I'm sure they know what they're doing. I'm I'm not saying they don't. I'm just saying, you know, uh, just be careful. Um, so yes, this is the daily build, which is very very useful, and I guess is up to date. And uh, yeah, I find this is a very useful version. Um, sort of distro of Linux. So obviously, as you can tell, it's uh, very similar to, to, of course, Mac OS. If you press on this file, on this uh, sort of icon here, on dock, on the dock, you know, it goes, it shows you all the uh, sort of desktops you have open um, or you have active in the, in the OS, which is great. And uh, 
It has keyboard shortcuts too. This is the overview sort of version. Um, shows all the programs you have active. Uh, so yeah, I think it's a great, great Linux distro. Um, this is not very in depth, obviously. Um, so yeah, um, I think it's based on a fork of GNOME Shell, I'm guessing, or GNOME 3, if you prefer, if you, if you prefer it that, you've been called that. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, fast. Um, it could be a bit slow because because I'm doing a screen recording, and this is a very small and lightweight, thin sort of machine. It's a, it's um the first generation of the Dell XPS 13, so um it, it's a bit so sort of lightweight on the hardware. So if if this does seem a bit slow, that's not how it how it appears in real life. Um, so yeah, thank you for listening, and have a great day.